Morning y'all, today is the day. We're heading up to Barrow, Alaska, finally. I've been wanting to go up here for so long, never thought I would. The opportunity finally came up and today's the day. Our flight's at 11.55 on Alaska. Looks like a pretty empty flight, but uh, currently about eight o'clock and we're gonna go grab some breakfast here. Finally, hotels have breakfast again, so that's nice. Gonna grab some breakfast and uh, head back to the airport. See you there. Stevens International Airport just checked in for the flight to Barrow. So we did get breakfast. They have actually to go breakfast at the hotel. And then uh, took the shuttle. Very nice driver. He's from uh, Alaska actually and much prefers to be in Alaska. And you know what? I 100% agree with him. Maybe someday, somehow, I'll also call Alaska home. But for today, it's time to fly to Barrow, also called Utqiagvik which is the northernmost city in these United States. After scooting our way through a mostly empty security line, we made it to the other side of ANC's B and C gates. I try seeing Barrow on that map and knowing I'm going there, well, we're going there. It's just unreal. I've only seen it on like YouTube. Oh my gosh, like the one video? <laughs> yeah, like one video, absolutely nuts. Oh, last time I was here, I got this silver gulch. Very good soup. I'm gonna probably get this when I come back here. Given where ANC is located, I'd fully expect it to feel like you are someplace a little out of the ordinary, and it certainly does give off those vibes. You definitely know you're in Alaska, with the not-so-subtle hints around the airport, like moose, bears, and Alaska seaplanes. We arrived to our gate, C5, this morning, nice and early to find our Boeing 737-800 waiting for us, and 5A3AS an August 2007 built aircraft that's been flying for Alaska for 14 years when this was shot. There it is guys, the ride to the north. The uh, flight up to Barrow today will be about two hours, hour and 50 minutes in length on the uh, 737-800 over there. I was looking at the seat map when I was checking in and it's very empty. Usually flying up to Barrow you have to go through like Dead Horse or Fairbanks stop a couple times so i was kind of surprised that there's only a direct flight there now by the way the temperature up there is 32 degrees and i saw snow in the forecast yesterday so obviously i brought some uh, winter apparel hats and gloves the weird thing about this is two days ago i was in pittsburgh and new york and they were both 90 degrees so it's a 60 degree temperature drop in like 24 hours you are welcome to board at this time. We are at C5 for Barrow. Hello. Hello. All right. Yes. This is unreal. I'm going to Barrow, Alaska. And I'll be doing so in premium class on this 737-800, otherwise known as Alaska's Economy Plus offering. Hello. Hello. Hi. After stepping aboard, since I had some elite boarding position due to Alaska now being in one world, I got to film some extra cabin shots today. The 737-800 resembles the airline's other 737 interiors, however, more so the 700s as the 900s and maxes are on a slightly higher level. That doesn't make this 800 bad though, with the same leather seats found on their entire fleet found on here. In total, there's three classes on board, the first obviously being first class, consisting of 12 recliner seats up front. The next premium class, where I'll be sitting, making up the next 30 seats. And finally, 117 economy seats, 
coming to 159 on the plane in total. The biggest difference found on these 800s is the lack of any mood lighting and smaller overhead bins, which can be a problem when loads are full. I will be sitting up here in 9F for the flight, with no one next to me all the way down to 9A. Three rows in front of me are dividers, separating first and premium with native Alaskan designs and patterns on them. A personal cabin highlight for me. And now for the seat, it's nothing different than an economy seat, except for additional legroom. There are fully adjustable headrests up top with some comfy padding filling the rest of the seat. Armrests aren't frontier tiny, aren't incredibly large, but serve their purpose well in my opinion. Seats also go back a few inches. The massive legroom up in premium can be seen here with a taller person like myself having tons of room. On the seat back down below is a netted pouch for personal items, a universal power outlet and USB port just above that, a tray table, and a literature slot holding the safety card and other such pamphlets I'll show when in the air. Speaking of which, I think all the brave souls are on board now, so time to head up to the Arctic. To the Pharaoh. Today we have Captain Sean, first officer David, I'm Arthur with me in the cabin. We have David, and Jenny, and Dan. Safety is our highest priority. Appreciate your attention. We'll go ahead and share some important safety information with you. Again, it helps get ready for takeoff. Just make sure the seatbelts are fastened, seatbelt track cables are bright and hot. Sit back, relax, enjoy our hop over to Barrel. If everything goes smoothly, and that's a big if, flight time up to Barrow, Alaska today will be just under two hours in total as we enter the Arctic Circle. I say if because the weather up in Utgagvik can be very unpredictable, often too foggy for planes to land, safely causing them to divert back to Anchorage or even Prudhoe Bay or Fairbanks. As the flight attendants will be starting their service shortly, Here's a glance at what we can expect today. The only other real benefit of premium class, aside from extra legroom and getting to be up front, is that alcohol is free. So you can be sure I will be taking advantage of that on this special flight. Tray tables on board are very adequately sized with two cup grooves and the ability to extend it closer to yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Red wine straight from the tap of Broken Earth Winery, or at least straight from this can. I also asked for some Alaska Glacial Water to go with that, and everyone on board received a bag of savory snack mix to complement the drinks. Justin also got some Bailey's Irish Cream, so cheers to a great Arctic adventure. I must say guys, I, still, I, I keep saying it, but I still can't believe this idea about two or three months ago and uh, kind of brought it up to Justin over here. Hey, you want to go to Barrow? The idea turned to reality three months later. I think here we are, about halfway there. I'm so excited. Right now, latest weather just simply to the east. Lower ceilings right now, uh, lower mids. Following the service, the captain gave us some weather news from northern Alaska that the ceiling was very low with a weather system moving in. At the time, something I wasn't too worried about, but as I'd later find out, that kind of spells disaster for landing at BRW. Even 
Even all the way up here in the USA, there is still working Wi-Fi on board, as well as a free entertainment system, accessible on any mobile device, as Alaska does not have PTVs on board any of their planes. Once connecting to GoGo in-flight and settings, Alaska's home screen should pop up, letting you access all their content, and for a flight of this length, there's certainly plenty enough movies and TV shows available to watch. Wi-Fi prices vary per flight, depending on length and other factors, but texting is free on Alaska Airlines, so once going through their security prompts to make sure I'm not a robot, even up here I can communicate with people around the world. As I previously showed, a flight map is also provided, along with destination weather, something you look at just a little more closely than you normally would on any other flight. As Justin actually had a seat towards the back, and since the flight was so empty, I took advantage of it and got some shots all over this 737, but before we start making our descent into Barrow, why not have a look around one of the four lavatories on board, this being one in the back. It's a pretty typical 2000s era airplane bathroom in terms of decor and design, kind of like what you'd find on most Southwest planes. Not terribly large, but not as small as what American can crunch you into. At this point, just before the promised low ceiling around Utkiagvik, the clouds broke up a bit, allowing us to see some of Alaska's unique landscape below, which just seems to get more and more barren as you head more northward, with mountains eventually turning into frozen tundra. That thick cloud layer popped up not much later, which would prompt our final descent into the North Slope region. Thankfully, it seemed like the weather held up just enough for us to sneak our way into Barrow on our first try, which allowed Justin and I to catch our first glimpses of a place I honestly can say seems like something not on planet Earth. flight and what a landing. Whatever expectations I had about this place, and trust me, they were very high. Seeing that ice on the Arctic just suddenly appear like that beneath the clouds totally burst whatever I expected Barrow to look like. If it looks insane on this video, trust me, you gotta see for yourself. As for the rest of the flight, it's quite hard to rival the Milk Run set of flights I did, but this was definitely up there for me as one of the most enjoyable Alaska flights, especially when it came to comfort. For a taller person, the extra legroom up in premium class certainly helps out a lot, but Alaska economy also does have some of the most room in the US, so it's not really something I would consider unless a free upgrade was given to me, which is exactly what happened today. So yes, I definitely enjoyed premium, but it wasn't necessary and totally was not my main focus of this trip. That would be Barrow, and this flight was just the beginning of it. 
Thank you. Have a great Thank one. Thank you. You too. Bye. Like I said, there's just no other place like this. Everything about it is different, and in the following three days, I would explore every corner of Barrow, Alaska. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out my video titled What It's Like in Barrow. I can't promise it does justice for such a unique place, but I certainly tried. Hope you guys enjoyed this Alaska 737-800 flight though in premium class to the northernmost city in America. Thanks for watching, and catch you on the next one. Been a mother and two cubs polar bears oh. sighting within oh the boy. week. Uh, they've been coming back almost every night.